Dirtbags, after the third round of the competition, it's still anyone's contest. Yeah, burn, Wrench. Anyone includes me. <laughs> Donut was leading after the obstacle course and talent contest. Awesome. Hoodie hoo. But then the mysterious skull pulled ahead during the question and answer session. That doesn't seem physically possible. So the standings are the skull, Donut, and in third, the Wrench, which is the current crowd favorite. <laughs> Maybe the skull will be your new sidekick. Hey, Sarge, how can I kiss your ass if I don't have any lips? And in last place, Griff. What? I thought I was ineligible. Ineligible to win, dead man. Luckily, there's no chance of that happening since the last round is the evening wear competition. Ho oh, <laughs> ho, you're in trouble now, Skull. Then can I quit? Of course not. Only eligible contestants can withdraw from the competition. <sighs> I guess you'll just have to settle for fifth place, Turdbelly. Fifth place? Should I even ask who's in fourth? I'm reserving fourth place for any late entries who would obviously be better than you, such as a turd or a turd farmer. Hey, Gary, is there any way that you can translate what this big alien is saying to us? No. Oh, come on, man. Isn't this one of the aliens that built you? Yes, but I do not know much about those creatures. I was only programmed with knowledge of the known. I mean you. Yeah, listen, man, that word is really starting to bug me a little bit. You did not even know what it meant until I told you. I know, but you just say it so much. I only say Shisno in context, like when talking to a Shisno or about a Shisno. I think I see what you mean, Shisno. So you'll stop. Interspecies prejudices take a long time to overcome, but I will try. Thanks. Luckily, I am not lazy like Shisno. Yeah, it's pretty clear you mean to give this your best effort. I think the important thing is that I am trying. Okay. Church is trying to get a translator so that we can talk to each other. Tucker. The enormous alien doesn't speak our language. Speaking slowly is not gonna help. What? I'm talking to Caboose. Oh. I don't understand. Are, are, are you hungry? Tucker, are you hungry? Are you cold? What? No. Do you need a blanket? Tucker, do you want some hot dogs in a blanket? Damn it, no, Caboose, I'm not cold. I don't want a hot dog, and if you put mustard in my fucking sheets again, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, gargantuan alien. Now that we have decided to keep you, you need a real name. I vote for Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy! The alien that only loves! He's got to have a name. Why don't we just ask him? Hey, alien dude, what's your name? Name. I am Tucker. This is Church. That's Bitch Pants McCrabby. Hey! Well, that's what we call you. Not me. I call you Mrs. McCrabby. Thanks. What? is your name. <coughs> your name. <coughs> name. Just keep repeating it, Church. I'm sure he'll come up with the right definition on his own. He is Tucker. Tucker. You are... <coughs> no, no. No, not Hong Kong. Name. <coughs> okay, I give up. All this guy says is Hong Kong. Well, have you ever considered the fact that his name is Hong Kong? <coughs> Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? Yeah, I mean, seriously, what kind of name is Hong Kong? Blarg. Hey, Big Alien, is your name Hong Kong? Blarg. Hey, wait a second, I think Blarg means yes. Alien, does Blarg mean yes? Blarg. Holy shit! Blarg means yes! He just said yes! Blarg means yes! I speak alien! Yeah, unless Blarg means no, in which case, he just said no. Blarg does not mean yes. What? No way. Hey, Alien, am I right? Blarg. Haha, <laughs> see? What the fuck do you know? After the final tabulations, we've declared a winner! Griff, the envelope, please! Envelope? We don't have any envelopes, this is the army! No, that's a winner! Oh, yes! Well, my life's officially over. Time to go kill myself! Wait for me! Look, no offense, imaginary tank, but I don't believe in you. You're just a product of my imagination. Actually, I'm a product of the military contractor that made the lowest bid. I'm a little ashamed of that. Well, leave me alone. I can't have some imaginary tank ruining my excellent reputation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go dig a hole to live in. <sighs> I wish Griff was here. I could convince him there was food underground. Then he would dig half a hole for me. Or maybe a third of a hole. Then he'd use the shovel to eat oatmeal. On second thought, I don't wish Griff was here. You can live with me. Just ignore it. It's not real. I have my own base. In fact, I've made lots of renovations since you all left. 
See? Hey, that's the old blue base. Yes. I was sent to guard it from something. I can't really remember what. Some of my memory banks have failed over the years. Do you remember what the blues were fighting? Uh, I think it was pirates. Are you sure? I think it was another army. I think they were a different color. No, it was definitely pirates. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, pirates. And I think there were some ninjas that were working with them. No, I don't think so. And I think they had traveled from another planet. Incorrect. I think it was called Cowboy Land. Negative. And they were here to rustle up some cattle. No. But the blues were going to stop them. No. No, wait, monkeys. Monkey pirates. Nope. From Uranus. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. And my bullshit meter agrees.